uh, hi everyone so before going into the code let's take a look on to this chat sheet i really appreci appreciate the author who wrote this chat sheet it actually summarizes all different things about the graphql in a single pdf page okay so we talked about the schema query mutation and subscription subscription you can add it later but this is what our schema is built of right and then we have a scalar type which is chain which can be int float string boolean and id okay in type definitions we talked about type query mutation uh, and the scalar types right so type is of object types you can also have a interface types union types enums and input input is like input custom input object type which you need sometimes to pass as a payload as an input and type modifiers like this is optional nullable this is not nullable this is nullable list of nullable string this is nullable string i mean no non null list of nullable string it's non null of non null strings i mean these are very tricky okay now how we are defining the types right we are defining the different types like query mutations and uh, the object types union type interface types and all so type query this query means we will be defining this users as operation in the resolvers but what it is taking it is taking limit as a input of type int which is optional and returning the user type okay because based on this definition only we will be writing the resolver and resolver will be returning the array of users from this query okay you can also use the default arguments like same as the default argument in the javascript functions limit int 10 if nothing is being passed then the limit and sort you can pass the multiple arguments in a query or a mutation you can also set the default value of some of the argument like this int 10 string ascending something like this input type you can create a custom types like i have the user mutation and it's like an update of user i'm doing so i'm passing some payload in the payload i will have username email and all so you can actually create a custom list user input okay now coming to the interface interface is nothing but another type right so interface foo interface goo and then you can create a type out of these interface so interface bar implements foo so whatever you have in the interface foo you will get that will get added in the bar type you can create another type bash so interface are like same concept which you see interface in any programming language so uh, we can create a types by implementing the interface we can add additional shared attributes shared scalar types by just implementing these set of interface i mean you can implement multiple interface to a type there is a new type implementing two interface so you got all the definitions unions sometimes you wanted to create a you don't know like what kind of input i will be returning based on some property right so in that case you can actually create the, the another type out of two types by doing the union okay so you don't know like based on one particular property i will determine that i need to return a student type or the the type teacher right and then enum enum is nothing but sometimes you wanted to allow a particular set of input attributes enum is like a fixed set of values are allowed for that particular key like uh, enums in database enums in uh, typescript these are nothing but a set of values which are only allowed okay so after just going through this chat sheet what is graphical schema language how it looks like we are defining creating schema and resolvers and just creating apollo server right so writing a basic graphql server isn't hard what we are doing is we are creating type definitions and resolvers so let's take a look on to this example now you can extend this example to a further if we talk about very basic things we are not talking about what arguments you are going to take in uh, as an input here we are just taking i think this is also a function definition which we will talk about what all arguments we are getting the context type the arguments and the, the data this is last argument is a context and this is the argument and this is scalar type okay resolvers so what do we see in this code the type definitions the resolvers and our server.js now if you talk about the integration this is plain and simple node.js code what you will do is you will write your server you will write your mongodb and from mongodb you will be able to get the data right 
okay so let's try to extend this application in the next video with some more features